In this short video, I want to take a look at how do we go about saving our Muse project and then how do we go about exporting it and getting it ready, publishing it to the web. So to begin with, when we save our project, it will have the .muse extension. This is a Muse project. Now, this is only read by other um, users who have Muse installed on their computers. So what we want to do, and everything is linked, so if we were going to send our project to someone or we were going to get it ready for the web, to publish on the web, we would come on up and we would come to publish. And then we have two different, we have actually three, but two that I'm going to focus on in this video. We can export as HTML, we can also connect directly to our FTP host. So what this means is if I have purchased my domain name and my hosting, I would get this information from my host. So the FTP server, our username, and password. Now I'm not going to do that for this project. I'm just going to export it and show you what it looks like. So I come on in and I go export as HTML. I click and it's telling me where it is. Now it will actually create a file named Muse export. And I'm going to, you know, you could change it if you wanted to. You could say, oh, I don't want it to go there. I want it to go, I definitely want it to go in there. But you could put it into a different spot. I'm going to just keep it as it is. I'm not going to hit OK because I've already done this. So um, then it told, it showed me the root of where it was. Again, it created that folder. And it was in my documents. I need to go into my documents. And then it was in a folder tile uh, that was Muse export. There it is. And take a look, index. I can see that all of these pages. Now, what's happening is if you watch my other videos, I wanted mine to go all the way across. It's not doing that, but I could play around with that a little bit later. I can see that my folders, my files are right here. Like, see my CSS. Now, what's really interesting is it has made a CSS for each page. There's the master CSS, but then there is a CSS for each page. Um, my different scripts, so I have some um, JavaScript going on, so how cool is it that it wrote JavaScript with us without with us not even knowing. There we have it. Now, if I wanted to send this to someone, um, and this is just, don't worry so much about that file, I could zip it and send it. I could rename this file if I wanted to. I could name it and then um, again, I could zip it and upload it and send it to someone to share it. Thanks so much. Now also I could go through the um, step of, instead of connecting directly from Muse to my web hosting, I could actually log in and go right from my desktop or use a program like FileZilla. Thanks so much.